everybody. Welcome back to the shop for 10 more minutes. Time to keep making action. All right, guys, I'm rolling. I got all them bulkheads glued in the back. And I got my elevator mechanisms taken back out. Now what I am doing is I am um, fixing my pendules. All right, see the, can't hardly really see them in there. But see that pin? It's way down in there, right there. And this is the part that goes in my uh, elevator. Then it slips in and goes right in that pin. Okay, then you tighten these two bolts up here. But when you tighten up these bolts, you gotta tighten that one up, tighten that one up. Kinda go back and forth, you know, to get that wedge out. But that just kind of holds it center. It's, uh, there's no load on that or nothing. It just helps to uh, get it in the right spot so you don't got to change your end points every time you put it on. Because I take them off to haul it. You know, but if you got a trailer big enough, you don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. I got one more left to do. See, the first thing I had to do when I took them out is uh, I had to put the drill and tap for these. These lock all that into place. But I couldn't do that because these had to rotate for that bar to go all the way through the fuselage. You know, to line them up, so I couldn't do that yet. But now that I got the bulkheads glued in there, I can go. I went ahead and drilled and tapped them. They're all locked in place and ain't going nowhere. So, you know, them is not moving. I got these ends JB welded and the screw. See that screw? Then one there. And then it's squished down there. There's no way any of that's coming loose. Okay? I'll show you how I did it. Yeah, see? Put that down in my vise. Tried to make a video earlier, but then camera went dead. Didn't have a charge. Had a nice Easter. Went to my sister's house. She had a barbecue. Oh, it was delicious. And my other sister showed up. Well, I got another sister who lives in Kansas City, probably ain't seen in a long time, 10, 12 years. And uh, she actually showed up. So, let's see her. She's the wild one, man. You guys want to liven up a party, you just get my sister over there. <laughs> then my son came in town. My son lives in Kansas City too. You know, come to find out, he don't live very far from my sister. I kind of get that in there, kind of square as I can. <sighs> Tighten her up so she don't go nowhere. Okay, now. You want to get the line in the center. Can make me a little mark and I'm gonna kind of study it for a minute. Actually, see how far in the center it is. Been pretty lucky so far. My bar fits in all of them. <laughs> so, been pretty lucky so far. Let me just pick any one of them up and 
they all fit. And then I take, so I study that line for a minute. Kind of see just how accurate it is. And I take my center punch. And if I need to make a little adju adjustment, on either side of that line. That dude held up perfect. Do it a couple times, so I've got a nice deep. Oh, it's okay now. Come over here to the drill press. So I'm told them fuselages. I want them big old feet. Okay. And here again, I got this kind of jigged up to where it sets level without rocking. push rod it's bigger than the 440 and then it actually gets fatter out here it's one of them metric ones come with them are so, you know so I think to drill the hole a little bit bigger to the size of that because we don't want to tap this top part we got to let that go up and down when you tighten this so we drill this in now this top part And if you just tap all that and then run threads, nothing but threads, it'll keep it from smash, you know, smashing onto the elevator rod. Okay. And see that tap just falls through that first hole. That's what we want. That's just perfect. Man, I've been tapping so much the past few days, my wrists hurt, my fingers hurt. Yeah, I had all these parts made, but there was still a lot of work to do to it. And I also numbered Numbered them all. Seven, four, one. So I'll go right back in the same place, man. You no, know, that one rubbed off. I'm gonna have to figure out. Oh, that's three. Figure out which one's missing and remark it. Three count. Two's missing too. This one's two, yeah, that one's three. Let's just mark it again before I forget. Then in the fuselages themselves. See a mark, see that mark right there on the on that bulkhead? That one's three. And that one's four. Yes, yeah, so they'll go back in. 
<laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, bam. Got this tapped. Now we take our rod, lock tight on it because we don't want it coming out. Yeah, guys, I've been kind of bummed the past few days, to tell you the truth. Pretty bummed about something. Cutting that up. Kind of blows, to tell you the truth. It's just kind of not at liberty to talk about it, but it blows. Don't only affect me. I'm just kind of in shock, to tell you the truth. Bam! Just makes me wonder where my modeling career's going. <laughs> oh, man. It blows, guys. There's a reason I don't go to the flying field too much anymore. Bam, see, perfect fit. Just absolutely perfect. <clears throat> but. I don't know. Ain't much I can do about it. <laughs> oh, it blows, man. Surely does. But. Little job I got for you. I'm really not at liberty to discuss it. Just to rub them off with my hand. Okay, I got all them done. Bam. All of these are done. Now I can take my wooden blocks out. No, these blocks. Well, when you want them things to come out, they're stuck. When you don't want them to come off, they are popping loose all the time. Where's my whole time? That's what I need for this job. <laughs> Man, oh, season ender on the zombie movie was pretty good last night. It's kind of surprised me. Then we gotta wait till next season. Yeah. That'll work good. Just love the hell that works.
Bam. Okay. Now, I'm going to put these screws in the bottom too. I'm going to lock tight on them. Even though these are going to be the ones to loosen and tighten to remove the stabs. Still lock tight them so it's hard to screw in and out and won't vibrate out and end up in the floor in your trailer when you're hauling it. Well, done deal. Same thing here, I had to drill out this top part to where the bolts would slide down and then just tap the bottom part. Otherwise that piece will not tighten up. That's what holds your stabs in. And it's got to tighten up, man. But also likes what I really like to do on bolts like this that you gotta loosen and tighten all the time. Actually put the Loctite on it and let it dry. Then put the bolt in. It just makes it to where they won't vibrate out. So I lose more.